Welcome, Eagles, to Trad Cat Night, your one-stop website for all of the day's latest church apostasy and end-time news. This is your number one ranked traditional Catholic outlet specializing in the real third secret of Fatima. Trad Cat Night is featured all over the alternative media circuit and has the most listened to and most influential podcast radio show available within the Catholic world. Trad Cat Night's guest list is second to none. Search Trad Cat Night across any major social media outlet for daily information and visit tradcatnight.org, the fastest growing end times community available in the market. So what's it going to be, Eagles? Fear or faith? Flight or fright? Join me as we head deep into the darkest night. Welcome, my good friends, to another edition of Trad Cat Night Breaking News right here on the Trad Cat Night YouTube channel. Uh, folks, before we get into uh, latest promo, <clears throat> talking about my most recent talk with Father Paul Kramer, uh, I did want to briefly mention some of the upcoming names that we have featured uh, on the Trad Cat Night podcast or the live show. We've got Father Voigt upcoming here uh, in the upcoming week, Ben Davidson from SuspiciousObservers.com. Uh, uh, popular YouTube channel as well. Trevor Ludone, a uh, very notable anti-communist uh, writer, joins the program as well. I do have Dr. Peter Honowski joining the program on March the 12th. Also, James Perloff joining uh, the program. I believe it's on Friday, March the 19th. I've got Bernard Jansen. going to be another blockbuster talk with Bernard, who is uh, noted for all those famous interviews he did with uh, Father Malachi Martin. I also have Robert Sugenis uh, upcoming on the program, as well as Paul Stark and Monsignor Perez rounding out uh, the month. Now, I just got finished uh, talking with Father uh, Paul Kramer. Uh, we just had an exclusive talk. You're not going to want to miss this one, folks. We went almost an hour and a half long. In it, very briefly, we discussed when his book will be available. And it's perhaps uh, going to surprise some of you the answer. Uh, we went into the difference, the theological difference and qualification uh, as it relates to Benedict XVI and Francis. He went in depth as to how to specifically qualify heresy in the various heresies, uh, if you will, uh, quoting some eminent theologians that he has uh, obviously put in his book as well. <clears throat> the big news is that according to his inside source, Fra uh, Francis is indeed a Freemason. Very interesting. Uh, things got a little quiet as we were talking along those lines for uh, about five minutes. Uh, but this is something that uh, he has never re revealed to me before. And uh, I do t talk with uh, Father Kramer at least once a month. Well, but in any case, uh, on the basis of this one particular aspect, you are going to want to sign up to the website. Uh, we talked, what religion does Francis truly espouse? It's certainly not the Catholic religion, so what is his religion? Uh, what does he really teach and say? Uh, we also went into some commentary from Father Kramer talking about how the, Francis is using the SSPX to break down or fracture the traditional movement. We talked about the prospects of Francis actually resigning. Uh, we talked ca the Cardinal Pell case uh, at length. I think we covered that for about 10 to 15 minutes. And also, uh, breaking of the confessional seal, uh, some obvious implications there, uh, as we are seeing over the last uh, few weeks, uh, in conjunction with uh, the Cardinal Pell case, this, this will become more widespread, as you know, as the plot to destroy the sacraments and ultimately destroy the Catholic Church altogether uh, continues on. Uh, we talked specifically uh, along the lines of prophecy. Blessed Anna Emmerich, St. Francis of Assisi, Sister Gianna of the Nativity, Marie Julie Jehenny. Uh, we also went into detail <clears throat> about what can we do given there's so much fracturing, if you will, and division everywhere amongst those who call themselves Catholic. Father Kramer provides some Lenten advice uh, for this season. I hope you all uh, are having a very blessed uh, Lenten uh, season thus far. Very fruitful. I know it's only a few days in, but let's take advantage of every day that we get. Uh, we also discussed the church going through a passion, and the church is about to full-blown go underground. We talked Planet X and Earth Changes. 
Uh, we talked about just how close the Antichrist is, how it will be a socialist slash communist. We talked the latest geopolitical news, uh, Russia specifically, just how close is World War III. <clears throat> we covered how Francis, coincidentally, actually called Benedict XVI the Pope. <laughs> no Pope Emeritus, but Pope Benedict XVI. Um, we had to. We actually started off the broadcast by getting into some of these silly labels uh, that those are, are being called who hold Benedict XVI as being the true Pope. Uh, some sad uh, people, priests included, now saying we're lunatics, we're schizos. Uh, there is no difference between Benedict XVI and Francis. Well, yes, there is. Uh, so Father Kramer went in the first 10 minutes basically refuting those uh, who do say Francis is the Pope. We covered the latest rumors about the SSPX and the supposed new bishops coming. We talked about what's on tap in the conciliar church for 2019, female priests and possible intercommunion, right? And folks, a lot, lot more. I could be here for the next 10 minutes talking about all the other areas that we got into, uh, but I don't want to belabor the point for this short promo piece. Again, the talk is about an hour and a half long. Get over to trancatnight.org right now. 25 to 50 posts daily. Highly unique website. It's highly interactive. There's a message board. There's chat room. There's a live call-in show uh, starting, uh, well, right now it's Tuesdays and Fridays, but starting in April, it's going to be Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. My own articles and analysis will only be seen there. I've written, I try to write about five articles a week, and I just recently covered Isaiah 2, uh, verse 19 through 21, talking about how the New World Order are going to flee like cockroaches in an attempt to flee from the face of God. You don't want to miss that one. There's numerous resource pages on tradcatnight.org, links to live masses, holy hour, divine office. Again, you can write your own articles and commentaries for publication that will be seen by all within the Trad Cat Night community. All this for just $10 a month, which works out to be less than a half a cup of coffee on a daily basis. Uh, it works out to be less than your local newspaper. You don't even have to be Catholic to sign up. Uh, again, with a podcast guest list second to none, uh, you are not going to want to miss any of the podcasts upcoming. It's great to see all the new faces recently joined the Trad Cat Night. We had a blockbuster talk last week with uh, the granddaughter of the original biographer of uh, Marie Julie Jeheny. And my goodness, uh, that was an explosion of, of memberships to Trad Cat Night as that one uh, picked up steam and more and more people were talking about it. And I will be having her back on in less than a month. Folks, don't don't forget to invite your friends, family members, church members to trancatnight.org. Continue to build up this community uh, as the church is about to go underground. The Eagles are gathering. So check that description box right now, right below this YouTube video. Uh, click those two words that say show more It will uh, in the description box below this video. And you'll see the whole promotional piece for Tr Trad Cat Night right there. You want to click that first blue link that says access to the website. You go ahead and click that, fill out all the information. It should only take a minute or two. Stripe is the payment processor. It's faster, safer, easier than even PayPal. I've been using it for years without any problems. And I hope to see some new faces. Again, you're not going to want to miss this exclusive talk uh, with Father Paul Kramer. And uh, who knows, maybe Father Paul Kramer will be uh, doing a little bit more work for Trad Cat Night as uh, he's finishing up his uh, book here and has a little bit more time. Uh, in any case, folks. Uh, hope to see you all on trancatnight.org. And until next time, stay safe and God bless.